you're driving a Ford Model T, one of the foremost revolutionary and persuasive cars in history. You are feeling the straightforwardness of the controls, the unwavering quality of the motor, and the reasonableness of the cost. You're a portion of a mass development of Ford proprietors who share your appreciation for this viable and flexible vehicle. But do you know the humble and motivating history of this car? A history that includes an agriculturist boy who didn't like school, but adored mechanics. A history that includes his energy for development and his vision for mass generation. A history that Ford has attempted to share, celebrate, and honor. Usually the story of how Ford went from being a farm boy to a car mogul and how he changed the world with his development. A story that will stun you, shock you, and rouse you. Usually the story of the rancher boy who invented Ford. The thought of a car, which employments an inner combustion motor to move on wheels, was not modern. It had been around since the late 19th century as a way to move forward transportation and portability. But it was Ford who made it his individual mission to make a car for the common individuals as a portion of his vision of a distant better, a much better, a higher, a stronger, an improved greater than an improved and more affluent society. He began his life as a farm boy in Dearborn, Michigan, where he developed an interest in and an ability for mechanics at a youthful age. He detested school and favored tinkering with machines and devices. He eventually cleared out the cultivate and sought after a career as a builder in Detroit, where he worked for different companies and learned from distinctive tutors. But his desire and inventiveness drove him to begin his possessed company, Ford Engine Company, in 1903, where he kept on testing and moving forward with his car plans. He confronted numerous challenges and disappointments, such as the need for stores, competition, and planes. He also had to bargain with the skepticism and feedback of the open, who saw cars as costly, unsafe, and illogical. But Ford decided to demonstrate them off base. He chose to center on making a car that was basic, solid, and cheap, that seemed to fit a family of five, which may run on any kind of street. He moreover chose to receive the concept of the gathering line, which diminished the time and fetched of generation and expanded the quality and amount of yield. He at long last made the Ford Model T, which debuted in 1908. The Ford Model T was a sensation. It had a four-cylinder, 20-horsepower motor that conveyed a beat speed of 45 miles per hour. It moreover had an adaptable and tough chassis that seemed to adjust to diverse landscapes and climate conditions. It was a car that combined usefulness and proficiency, and it got to be an image of flexibility and opportunity. The Ford Model T democratized the car industry, making cars open and reasonable to millions of people. It took a toll as it was $850 when it was to begin with introduced, and it dropped to $260 by 1925, thanks to the economies of scale and the mass generation. It too made a tremendous request for other businesses, such as steel, rubber, and oil, and fortified the development of the economy and the society. The Ford Model T moreover overwhelmed the car advertise, offering over 15 million units by 1927, and bookkeeping for over half of all cars within the world. It too propelled other models, such as the Model A, the Model B, and the Model C, that extended and differentiated the Ford brand. But Ford's victory did not come without a cost. He had to confront unused challenges and discussions, such as labor debate, social issues, and natural impacts. He moreover had to bargain with the changing tastes and inclinations of the consumers, who needed more assortment and customization in their cars. Ford had to adjust and enhance once more and grasp modern advances and patterns, such as electric and crossover vehicles. Nowadays, Ford is one of the biggest and most respected car producers in the world, with a faithful and differing fan base. It has honored its history, but it has not been small. It has learned from its botches and endeavors to be a capable and moral company that values its customers, employees, and the environment. Ford's story could be a story of tirelessness, advancement, and change. It may be a story of how a car can alter the world for way better or for worse. 
It may be a story of how a car can reflect the dreams and the substances of humanity. It may be a story that can motivate you to take after your enthusiasm, overcome your impediments, and drive your victory.